Once again this year, Transition Cleveden staged the ancient custom of visiting an orchard, reciting incantations and singing to the trees in their Millennium Orchard off Brookfield Walk. But this year the Bristol Morris men were also on hand to help promote a good apple harvest in the coming year. After the dancing came the singing of the wassailing song, followed by the traditional rattling of pots and pans to ward off the evil spirits. Another custom on these occasions is to place toast soaked in cider in the branches as a gift to the tree spirits. Thank <laughs> you. 
The short ceremony ended with the drinking of mulled cider and the eating of apple cakes. Among the many technical problems a comedy club encountered when staging this year's pantomime, Sinbad the Sailor, was where to obtain some moving aerial pictures of Cleveland for this magic flying carpet sequence. The solution was to call in Greg Willis and his radio controlled glider. Greg has specialised in making aerial videos using this tiny camera strapped to the side of his fibreglass glider. His many videos can be seen on YouTube under the username Wibaboo. Yeah, so fly out that way over the trees and hope it doesn't crash. Okay, camera on. The glider is powered by a small motor until it reaches about 800 feet. Then it is guided by remote control from the ground.
For Chris Parsons, a state registered paramedic working for the Southwest Medical Services, this was the last of 300 free first aid training courses he has recently undertaken. First on the menu was a demonstration of the recovery position. The hand furthest from you, you want to link fingers. Now, you don't want to hold hands, all right? You're not taking them on a date or anything like that. If it's a lady and they've, or a gentleman even, and they've got some big rings on, big stones, um, turn them around because that hand is going to go across the side of his face. Check the pockets, there's nothing in that pocket. We're going to take the furthest leg from us and we're going to put that as far up as it'll go. Okay? And we're going to hold that leg as well. You're going to hold that leg literally right at the top. The higher up, the more leverage you get and we're going to bring Henry over into recovery position. I'm going to explain what I'm doing, so if he can hear me, he knows what's going on. So Henry, I'm going to pull you over towards me, just to bring you into a safe position. After three then, one, two, three. I'm going to bring him half over until his hips just start coming off the floor. I'm then going to sit up, and I'm literally just going to push down on that knee, and his whole body will come over. But enough of the lecturing, the 20 or so participants were now required to practice what they had just seen. Organised by the Clevedon Lions, this course was staged in the staff canteen at the Asda supermarket. Next, Chris took the class through a demonstration of CPR, or cardiopulmonary resuscitation. 30 chest compressions at a rate of 100 to 120 per minute, followed by two rescue breaths. Two breaths. Before the group were let loose on each other to practice CPR, Chris gave them a lesson in the portable defibrillator. Or at least one of the students gave the demonstration. Chris just kept on CPRing. Stand clear of the patient. Deliver shock now. Press the orange button now. Shock delivered. It is safe to touch the patient. The rest of the two hour session was set aside for the students to practice their CPR techniques. After which, certificates were issued acknowledging that basic life support training had been given. It's sometimes it is difficult. Um, it's just a case of you know that it's the centre of the chest, so you can make that like, call where the centre of the chest is. If we can, you'll just not get a good seal. Oh, yeah! Yeah, did you? Where are you going The centre is the centre of the chest, so you can get the top of the shelf. Look at my nose. Yes, I know. Just when you do the mouth to mouth.
Sheridan Gilbert and Sullivan Society have chosen the delightful show Iolanthe for their annual production this year. This will be the fifth time that the company has staged the show during their 42 year history. Among the highlights will be the magisterial entry of the members of the House of Peers who, on the night, will be dressed in their full regalia. Thank you. 